This is the Morso Guillotine F model. Pressing the pedal, it lowers the two blades and makes the cut. To avoid the blades from scratching the molding, I have to position both the supporting bars under the rebate of the molding. To lift the bars, I rotate the knurled nut until the bar touches the molding's rebate. The cutting block can be moved forwards and backwards by positioning the lever in the various notches. In this manner, multiple cuts are made possible. A slide of wood is removed at every cut. The last cut has to remove a portion of approximately 2 mm. The pressure of the blade on the wood is less and the cut is therefore perfectly smooth. I now cut a frame of approximately 4 cm in width. I put the supporting bars in position and make the first cut. I remove just a small slice of wood with the second cut. I now cut a bigger molding. I continue with various cuts until the last cut of 2 mm. If the molding is too big, I have to lift the height of the cutting block in this manner. The Morrison Model F can cut frames as wide as 10 cm. This is the measuring system. I want to cut 30 cm of this molding. I'm talking about the internal measurement of the frame, not the external. I firstly measure the width of the molding by placing it on the millimeter scale. I see that the width of the molding is 32 mm. I indicated the 32 mm measurement on the scale of the measuring stop. I now pull the stop until the 32 mm line is exactly in line with the 30 cm of the fixed mm scale. I tighten the star shaped knob which blocks the measuring stop and then I move forwards the molding until the block. The Morso guillotine also allows cuts that differ from 45 degrees. This allows for hexagonal, octagonal, etc. frames to be created. On the back of the guillotine is a slide where the shipping slides off. The guillotine has a protection system made up of two elements. The first element is a pair of plastic barriers which impede contact between the hands and the blades. The second element is a transparent plastic barrier positioned next to the blade. This barrier's height can be regulated. To change the height, you have to loosen the knob which keeps it fixed and then tighten it in the new position. We see again the same process, but from the back of the guillotine. The protection can be completely removed. This process is necessary when changing the blades. The guillotine is provided with the blades already mounted. It would be a good idea, though, to have a pair of spare blades. The blades have three holes where they can be fixed to cutting block. They are 21 cm long and are approximately 9 mm thick. 
The original Morse blades have the logo engraved on the metal. On average, they should be sharpened every 3-4 months. The sharper they are, the higher the quality of the cut. These are the so-called reversible blades which can be used by both extremities. Please note that the maximum width of molding they can cut is of 6 cm. When the blades are sharpened, their height is reduced by about 1 mm. If they become too short, you have to lower the cutting block, otherwise the blades won't be able to cut the molding completely. You have to move this threaded rod. I unscrew this nut whilst holding the cutting block still with the other hand. With one hand I lower the cutting block and screw this nut. I then fix the nuts well. At the end I put back the slide for the chippings which I had removed. The following can be purchased separately as optionals. Left extension of, of the working surface of 80 cm. Right extension of the working surface of 50 cm. Floor support for the right extension of the working surface. Millimeter ruler from 100 to 250 cm. Second measuring stop. Let's see the main optionals in more detail. This is the left extension of 80 cm, which includes the fixing bolt. This is the right extension of 50 cm of the working surface. The extension is sustained by this support. The support has to be fixed to the surface with the bolts provided. The extension is then fixed to the guillotine. The working surface, therefore, goes from 100 to 150 cm. This is the second measuring stop. It's needed to set simultaneously the length of the long and short side of the frame. It has to be applied to the millimeter scale after having removed the first measuring stop. I now apply the first stop again. I want to set the measurements of the frame to 40 by 50 cm. We had already seen that the length of the molding is 32 mm. I now set the length to 40 cm with the first stop. I therefore make it so that the measurement of 32 mm is exactly in correspondence with the 40 cm of the fixed millimeter scale. I place the molding against the stop and then remove it. I lower the second stop, place it against the frame and block it by tightening the knob. I lift it at the end. I now set the length to 50 cm with the first measuring stop, using the same process you've seen until now. This is the Morso Guillotine Deluxe model. It's similar to the model F Guillotine with the difference of the working surface which is diagrammed with oblique lines. This is what you have to do to measure. I want to cut a 35 cm piece of a molding. I move the molding until it reaches the oblique line of 35 cm. I then block the measurement with the stop. Let's see the measurement again from closer up. I move the molding forwards until the edge of the molding is in correspondence with the oblique line at 35 cm. 
I then fix the measurement by screwing the star shaped screw. If the measurement which is to be cut is external and not internal, the oblique line has to be in correspondence to the exterior corner of the moulding. Let's see for example how to cut a piece with the external measurement of 42 cm. You can see that the oblique lines are silk screened and are colored black for the centimeter and red for the half centimeter and dashed white for the 2,5 cm. This is to make the measuring easier. These are the elements which are provided to install the extension for the diagrammed surface. This is the extension for the diagrammed surface. It's 50 cm long. I now have to fix the vertical support. I insert the base which is under the supporting base. I then fix the support to the extension of the surface. I now attach the extension. I fix the extension with some bolts. At the end I insert the last bolt to fix the extension properly to the track. The maximum measurement marked in the diagram surface is of 152 cm. In fact, it's possible to set the measurement to also more than 152 cm. For this moulding, in fact, I can arrive to the measurement of about 159 cm. This is the Morso model F plus 10. It's similar to the F model, but the working surface is higher by 10 cm. Due to this characteristic, it's suitable for people who are medium tall. The model F plus 10 differentiates itself from the F model in also three other details. First, the left extension is already provided, so it's not an optional. Second, the automatic supporting bar system. Third, the closing behind the cutting block. Let's see in more detail the automatic system of the supporting bars. In the demonstration of the Model F, we saw that the supporting bars are needed to support the rebase of the molding. In the Model F plus 10, the support of the bars is fixed to a board. The support has to be lifted by rotating the knurled nut until it touches the rebate of the frame. At this point, the support is fixed in position by tightening the star-shaped nuts. In this manner, when the cutting block moves forwards and backwards, it's not necessary to reposition the bars against the frame. The rod which is fixed to the support goes through a hole in the cylinder, which in turn runs into tracks. The track of the plate is fixed to the cutting block and the track of the other plate is fixed to the body of the guillotine. Another detail which differentiates the model F plus 10 is the cover of the back to cutting block which is fixed with these two bolts. The knob is needed to modify the height of the position of the protection of the blade. A 70-page detailed instructions manual is provided with the guillotine. For further explanation, you can contact us by email and asking for information. You will find all the Morso guillotines in the Rinaldin catalogue and on the website www.rinaldin.com.